Okay, today we're doing a blood pressure assessment. Um, things you'll need are the stethoscope and a sphygmomanometer. Um, what we're gonna do is we need to make sure that the client is has her feet uncrossed and flat on the floor. Her arm will be extended out at um, heart level. And um, we'll go ahead and uh, grab, put our stethoscope, stethoscope on by uh, making sure that the um, ear pieces are facing forward. And we'll go ahead and wrap up her, the, her arm. Um, we want to ensure that the artery mark of the sphygmomanometer is on her brachial, uh, on her brachial um, artery. And so we want to make sure it's got a good snug fit with enough room in here to, to be able to stick a finger or two. We are going to um, keep the valve closed, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And what we'll do is we can go ahead and um, go ahead and oh wait, where does this go? Um, here we go. We'll just attach it here for now. Um, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the that we're listening for the coral cough sounds and it's the noise the uh, the noise that the blood pressure makes as, as it's it's re, uh, pumping ox uh, the heart rate is pumping blood through through the system so we're listening for the systolic would be the very first sound that you hear and the diastolic would be the very last sound that you hear um, once we inflate this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and again we want to put our stethoscope right on uh, not under her uh, not under the cuff and we want to hold it in this position not over this because the thumb will go ahead and create a pulse of its own and giving you a, a, a um, wrong reading. So we're gonna go ahead and inflate to up to 200 once we make sure the valve is closed and we listen for the cord cough sound by releasing a little bit at a time. Okay, now the the uh, client's reading was 110 over 60. So um, this indicates that she is well uh, under the normal blood pressure reading for a 20-year-old fit female as herself. Thank you.